Oh, welcome, everyone. Glad you are here. It is time for evening prayer on this uh, Holy Tuesday. We are very happy to welcome you home to St. Peter's. I'm just making sure that our live Facebook feed is up and running. And it looks like it is. There we go. And I just heard it. I just heard the iPad in my book in my book bag ding that uh, alerts me to that. So we are set. Please do like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, give us the thumbs up. And of course, if you're with us on Facebook, give us a follow and don't be afraid to share us with your friends. If you are watching live on Facebook, we're glad you're here. Please include your intercessions and thanksgivings in the live chat. We'll make sure those get lifted up at the end of the liturgy at the appropriate point. If you are someone who is watching after the fact, we get a lot of people doing that. We appreciate your presence. Thank you for being here and welcome home. Uh, please do include your intercessions and thanksgivings in the comments section. We monitor those regularly. And if there are any there, we lift them up at the next office, which will be morning prayer tomorrow at 9 a.m. But for now, we have morning prayer. Here we go. Evening prayer. I'm sorry, we have evening prayer. Morning prayer was this morning, but I was already on the road to uh, get my ordination vows renewed. So you can tell the renewal really took. <laughs> okay, here we go. Evening prayer. Grace to you in peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our sins against God and our Father and our neighbor. Fathers, mothers, and welcome. Yeah, it's, it's been a long day. Let us pray. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life and to be glorified through all the worlds. Please join me in Psalm 94, if you'd be so kind as to respond with the even verses as I offer the odd. O Lord, you God of vengeance, you God of vengeance, shine forth. Rise up, O judge of the earth, give the proud what they deserve. O Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked exult? They pour out their arrogant words. They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your heritage. They kill the widow and the stranger. They murder the orphan. The orphan. And they say the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob does not perceive. Understand, O dullest of the people, fools, when will you be wise? Be wise. The one who planted the ear, does he not hear? The one who formed the eye, does she not see? He who disciplines the nations, he who teaches knowledge to humankind, does he not chastise? Does he not chastise? The Lord knows our thoughts, that they are but an empty breath. Happy are those whom you discipline, O Lord, and whom you teach out of your law. Teach out of your law giving them respite from days of trouble until a pit is dug for the wicked. Where well, the Lord will not forsake his people, he will not abandon his heritage. Not abandon her heritage. For justice will return to the righteous and all the upright in heart will follow it. Who rises up for me against the wicked? Against the wicked. Who stands up for me against evildoers? If the Lord had not been my help, my soul would soon have lived in the land of silence. When I thought my foot is slipping, your steadfast love, O Lord, held me up. Held me up. 
When the cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul. Can wicked rulers be allied with you, those who contrive mischief by statute? They band together against the life of the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my stronghold and my God, the rock of my refuge. The Lord will repay them for their iniquity and wipe them out for their wickedness. The Lord, our God, will wipe them out. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's second letter to the church in Corinth. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, of the affliction we experienced in Asia, for we were so utterly unbearably crushed that we despaired of life itself. Indeed, we felt that we had received the sentence of death, so that we would rely not on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. The one who rescued us from so deadly a peril will continue to rescue us. On God, we have set our hope that she will rescue us again, as you also join in helping us by your prayers, so that many will give thanks on our behalf for the blessing granted us through the prayers of many. Indeed, this is our boast, the testimony of our conscience. We have behaved in the world with frankness and godly sincerity, not by earthly wisdom, but by the grace of God, and all the more toward you. For we write you nothing other than what you can read and also understand. I hope you will understand until the end, as you have already understood us in part, that on the day of the Lord Jesus, we are your boast, even as you are our boast. Since I was sure of this, I wanted to come to you first so that you might have a double favor. I wanted to visit you on my way to Macedonia and to come back to you from Macedonia and have you send me on to Judea. Was I vacillating when I wanted to do this? Do I make my plans according to ordinary human standards, ready to say yes, yes, and no, no at the same time? As surely as God is faithful, our word to you has not been yes and no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, whom we proclaimed among you, Silvanus and Timothy and I, was not yes and no, but in the one it is, but in him it is always yes. For in God, every one of God's promises is a yes. For this reason, it is through him that we say the amen to the glory of God. But it is God who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us by putting his seal on us and giving us his spirit in our hearts as a first installment. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle, the Song of Mary, together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich has been, he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Reading from John. Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethesda in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves... Oh, I'm sorry. Serves me, the Father will honor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
our second canticle, the Song of Simeon, together. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord. Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord. Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, blessed Peter, our patron, and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. O oh God, by the passion of your blessed Son, you made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. Grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ, that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. I welcome your intercessions and thanksgivings. A prayer from Melissa on her recovery from surgery. Thanksgiving for our diocesan clergy and for clergy across the Episcopal Church who have renewed their ordination vows with their bishops today. We give thanks for the blessing of the oils of anointing for the sick and also for the chrism and for the opportunity we had to gather in fellowship and pause and refresh and during this Holy Week journey. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. 
but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for evening prayer. We appreciate your presence. Please do join us tomorrow for morning prayer. Of course, we will be online shortly at about seven o'clock with uh, Holy Tuesday Liturgy. And know that we are happy to welcome you home, whether it is virtually or in real life. Either way, we're counting our blessings that you are present. Please do like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, give us the thumbs up, follow us on Facebook, do all the bits and pieces. And remember, if you have any intercessions or thanksgivings and you're just catching up with us, don't be afraid to include those in the comment section. We'll lift them up tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for morning prayer. And of course, then we have a big thing coming up uh, with Holy Wednesday, which is Bible study, noonday Eucharist, preparation for the community supper, evening prayer, and then Holy Wednesday, Stations of the Cross with Eucharist. Just a light day. See you soon. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.